when I was young, I have always been involved in the business. We were like, when I was young, I was like cleaning the table, doing cashiering. So that is where I started. So when we heard about the family-owned, Michelin award-winning, traditional Malaysian-Indonesian restaurant right here in Singapore, we jumped at the chance to speak with the owner and try their delicious food. We got there at lunchtime. There was a line outside the door, coiling around even a few more meters past that. You know, long lines are a sign that the food is good. Our mouths were already watering. We met with the restaurant managing director, Ms. Matsura Didi, to talk to her about the history and challenges of a restaurant serving thousands per day in multiple locations across Singapore. The restaurant was started because Ms. Didi's mother loved to cook, and Ms. Didi and her siblings helped out their mother at the restaurant from a very young age. When I was young, I have always been involved in the business. We were like, when I was young, I was like cleaning the tables, doing cashiering. So that is where I started. And then like, she's always telling us that this is our rice bowl. So we have to make sure that the legacy goes on. If not, then, you know, like, I mean, whatever she built from scratch will be gone just like that. The eatery began small, in just one location. Then it grew to multiple locations. You know, they've also won a Michelin Award and are known around here for their high quality food made from fresh ingredients. The restaurant has a central kitchen that prepares and cooks many of the dishes. Some dishes require five hours or more to prepare the traditional way. We have a kitchen. We do cook fresh at the restaurant or the stall. It's just that we prepare the ingredients beforehand. So we prepare the like the chili paste, we prepare cut vegetables, we prepare a lot of things. So when it comes to the restaurant, it's very fast for us to cook. Yeah, but for certain items like the rendang, it takes a long time to cook. So we cook it in the central kitchen and bring it over. Also, the restaurants and food court stalls only offer a set menu every day. You can order anything from that menu. Obviously, they can't serve food that requires hours to cook upon demand. So it's wise to get there early while they still have all the menu choices available. We asked Miss Didi about the secret of her success and her answer surprised us. She said that there are no secret family recipes. The key is to provide the patrons with consistent quality food prepared from fresh ingredients imported from Malaysia and Indonesia. We have never had a secret recipe. The secret is actually is just being consistent and using fresh ingredients. We have some ingredients coming from Malaysia and we also have some coming from Indonesia. Yeah, so for example the snail the, the one that everybody yeah. loves. Everybody, that one's, yeah, everybody said yeah. they were great. That one is from Indonesia. Indonesia? Yeah, we buy the snails from Indonesia. Oh, mm. oh, interesting. Yeah. For like certain types of vegetables, mm. we get it from Malaysia. Mm. We also interviewed several customers to get their opinions on the meals. Some of them had frequented the restaurant regularly, and some were there for the first time after reading about it on social media. Across the board, they all agreed that no matter what the dish, each one was delicious, and it was made with high quality ingredients. They also loved the reasonable prices the restaurant offers. What, what's the best part so far? I don't know. What's on your plate? What do you like best? I like the chicken. The chicken? Yeah, the, uh, the crispy and the juiciness is just perfect. Balanced, huh? yes, yes. How about you? I like the big rendang and all the veggies. Ah. So for people who've never been here before, what would you say tr to try for the first time? Someone who's never eaten this kind of food, like me. Yeah, and uh, you should come and try, especially their beef rendang. Ah. Uh, their sambal sotong is nice also, and actually this one is, is the star of uh, their restaurant. It's the star? Yeah, yeah very right. Their signature dishes include beef rendang. Beef rendang is being cooked for uh, a long time, about five hours. So it's being slow cooked 
um, and the sauce is actually uh, cooked until dry. Yeah, it's like kind of like a beef stew. Yeah. So uh, for this one is uh, tahu telur Jakarta. So it's fried uh, tofu and egg. So we cook it in a bowl and then we uh, serve it with uh, peanut and shrimp sauce. This is also a traditional dish. It's mm. called sambal goreng Jawa. Sambal goreng Jawa. So uh, it's actually tofu uh, and tempe being fried and then cooked with the sauce. Mm. And then we also top it up with uh, long beans. So prawns is also very um, popular in our restaurant. Mm. Most of the uh, customers they will order the sambal prawn, which is actually uh, prawns cooked with um, chili sauce. Yeah, so but this one is the fried version. Yeah, with butter actually. And then this is ayam lemak chili padi. So we cook this with green chili actually. Yeah. And coconut milk. Coconut milk. Yeah. Of course, we got to sample some of their wonderful traditional fare. Miss Didi herself likes the beef rendang. So I began with that. The meat was slow cooked to perfection. The spices were present, but didn't overpower the flavor of the beef. Even though it was beef, it felt like a light meal, not heavy at all. I also sampled the exquisite little snails, a first for my palate. They were really good. The tiny pieces of meat need to be sucked out of the shell. Again, the spicy essence was present without it hiding the snail flavor. The tofu and egg dish is fried inside a special mold that makes it tall. The outside was crispy and flavorful, while the inside was moist and juicy. The shrimp and chicken were also perfectly seasoned. I left having a real respect for traditional Malaysian Indonesian food and for the family who overcomes challenges to offer award-winning food at reasonable prices. You have to go check them out.